Hello, I'm Leanne from the beautiful Pacific Northwest, and we are in part two of making these delightful journals. They're journals from the dollar store, like the one on the far left, the green one. And you can make a simple one, you can make a complicated one. And last time I did part one. If you'd like to see part one, go ahead and click the link click the link right above here. Right now we're going to do part two. This is a little recap. When we um, last were together, we pressed the covers of the pages that we prepped. So now the big reveal, removing the big heavy books and we can pull out our nicely pressed pages. So you can see they really turned out fabulous. Nice, nice and flat. Okay, so let's go through the audition part. If you're new at making books, there's this audition part where you kind of pull out the things that you want to use and you try to figure out what looks best. Now, I want to kind of show you a little bit of this process so that you're not discouraged as you try to figure out what to use. I simply pull out things I like. I kind of put them on and kind of decide what I like best, and then I go with that. I think I kind of like this combination. I really am in love with this card there, so I'm trying to use that. These actually are those uh, Project Life cards. They are really great to use. So I narrow it down to these two, and I'm trying to decide, oh, which do I want to use? I go with this one. So now that I have these three pieces, I'm ready to begin. And what I said, that I have a focal point, I have a nice background, and I have framing pieces. These are going to be the basis of what I'm working with. And as you go along, find those three parts and then you can kind of get going too. So the first thing you want to do is measure out a piece that's going to be your background framing piece. I make mine about a quarter inch smaller on each side and then I glue it close to the edges. I don't want my edges popping up and then just put a little bit of glue on the rest of the area and that'll just push down nicely on our freshly painted pages. Now you take your background page. Now you can play around with the size of that. It doesn't have to be the same distance around on each side. I think I made this one a little bit um, larger on the top and bottom. Now with these pieces right here, you have a nice piece all on its own. You can go ahead and just do a little this and a little of that and you've got a nice simple book to go with. But if you want to make it a little more complicated, that's what we're doing right here, a little bit more detailed. I'm adding some depth to the edges. Ah, I go back to that card. I really want to use that card. But, you know, it doesn't always work out that way. So I'm trying it, seeing if I can make it work. But what I end up doing, I end up deciding using this little pink paper as a background. Now I have this wonderful ruler. It's a decal ruler. And it helps you rip the page. I wanted a nice ripped edge on this. And so this ruler worked out perfect for that. You just place the paper there and pull it up. So putting that there, I kind of come up with the size that I want. And I like I like the feel of that and how it, how it goes. So what I end up doing, I end up taking my pieces. If you look at the edges, I've sewn along the edges. That's just a nice, simple addition that you can do. But it really adds a nice added depth to your paper. This is cheesecloth. If you have some cheesecloth, it is a wonderful texture to add. It's soft, it's subtle, it adds a, a nice little character to it without taking away, making your eye go crazy and demanding the attention. It's just kind of a nice subtle background. So once again, I'm really determined to get these little uh, pieces tucked in, the little doily pieces, I really think they just add a nice addition. So I keep on adding them in, just trying to, once again, kind of audition, just see, you know, will it work here? Will it look, will it look good? You know, just kind of play around with your pieces, you know, move them around, see what works for you, see what you like, see if, see if you notice how your eye flows and if it feels comfortable within, within how it looks. I like this little bit of extra um, 
lined paper I think lined paper looks nice with this type of a floral but look at that with that gold I really like the pop that that gives now this card that I used really was quite bright and I didn't want it so bright so I'm using <laughs> I'm using my hand as a little palette there but I'm taking just plain old white paint and I'm kind of doling down that brightness of my card I like how that turned out and then I did frame it in that gold paper I like the look that it that it made with that just kind of making the eye feel more comfortable so finally committing and adding the little doily pieces this one I added directly to the back like that oops a little piece caught on and putting it back on and the other one I'm adding to the doily and then placing it to the back making sure that I don't go too far over the edge but that it stays within the frame adding a little bit of cheesecloth once again I I love using cheesecloth this is a wonderful little addition just a little piece of music just kind of peeking out a little bit adds a little bit of personality without adding too much to it frames in the piece a little bit more and getting them just placed perfectly so this is really simple it's not you know going hog wild I've, I've got my framing my focal points my background it's just adding a little bit of embellishments to make it a little bit more special now what I want to point out right here is that at this point you can actually stop it is a lovely piece it has your basic points of the framing and if you look at these if you want to pause you can see it has those basic points of framing lovely all on its own if you want to add a little bit more let's add like washi tape and some other things and let's see what happens there so I have some tickets and some washi tape and let's put them on in tickets are always fun to use they, they have their own little personality and stories of their own and so what I decide to do is tuck them behind on both sides right here then go ahead and grabbing that washi tape put a little there I tried to put the green there but I decided I didn't like it you'll see I removed it balancing by putting a little bit more washi tape at the top bringing washi tape a little thinner version onto the card and then a little thicker one below so these are just little details this is a um, piece of paper lace from a punched card I add a little birdie right there flying over the top I had another piece of paper lace at the bottom all those little details just add more and more to it I commit and then these wonderful buttons I put with a little bit of cheesecloth right behind boom I like it I'm gonna take one last look but basically I'm happy with how this turned out and we are gonna to get together for part three next I will be teaching more details of how to do the back and how to do the insides of the book so let's get together next time have a great day everybody bye